What's up everybody from New York City? I'm on Canal Street, right by uh, Mulberry Street. This is basically the what separates Chinatown and Little Italy. Separates the two. So basically on one, no, so really, at one side of Mulberry Street, it's Chinatown, right down this way, see? On the other side, starts Little Italy. You see how peaceful this is? Oh, okay, so they have masks on. You might wonder why isn't Jason wearing a mask? Because it is so peaceful here. There's there's little to nobody around me. Um, and nobody's anywhere near me. Look, look how quiet it is. You see that? Nobody's around me. But if I do go inside anywhere, if I get near anybody, I'm putting the mask right on immediately. I, I assure you guys. Anyway. I want to show you how quiet Canal Street is now. Normally, this is so busy here because Canal Street connects the, the um, I think it's Manhattan Bridge over there. And it, and it connects uh, from the east side all the way to the west side to get to Holland Tunnel. And so this street's always busy. And especially at dinner time like this, Little Italy is crazy full of people. Anyway, let's go take a walk in Little Italy. You guys want to take a walk with me? San Gennaro Festival, yeah. Man, I grew up with that festival. Okay, I'm going to call you guys names out. What's up, Natural Twist? Natural Twist wants to come to Chinatown? Come on over. We'll do some dim sum when you come. So this is Welcome to Little Italy. Oh, the police are going by. Yeah, the police don't need to wait for red lights, do they? <laughs> they just ran the red light, but that's okay. With lights, they can do that. All right, 51 people here watching a little Italy walk. So usually there's a lot of food being sold here. Restaurants are open, coffee shops, cannolis for sale. And actually these, these places like to stay open late too. This is a good place here, Ferrara Bakery. Some of you guys who know New York City will know this place. La Bella Ferrara Bakery. Calzones, yeah. Everybody hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys. Shane, Easy Free, Heath, Johnny, Lawrence. Oh, Sitchell's here. Yep, the units are here. Thank you, Steve. Sketcher, Maurice, Shane, Kamal, Habisis. Matt, get some pizza. Where can I get a pizza? They're all closed. I'd like to. I would. Interestingly enough, though, one place looks open. Look at this. This place kind of looks open. I'm not going to talk for a little bit. I want you guys to listen how peaceful it is here. You hear that? New York City is never this peaceful. Anyway, here's one place. Uh, actually, this is a new place called uh, Manero's Pizza. I never tried this place. It's a brand new place. I mean, it's it's new since I was here. Oh, they're still available for delivery, caviar, everything. Right on. Okay. Actually, their pizzas look really good. Let's go take a look. I bet you guys want to see. Can I can I take a look? How much is a slice? Um, the price is... Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Three dollars a slice, that's a deal. Yeah. That's a deal. I might have to get a slice. Okay, thank you. All right, it was just him. We were about 12 feet apart. He's all by himself. I think everything's really deliveries. Nobody's walking around to go buy pizza right now. The truth is that pizza looked really good there for three dollars. Three dollars a slice.
all these places would be really busy on a, on a, for dinner time if it wasn't for the pandemic. All these places would be so busy. And especially this time, there'd be people out here with their, with their menus and trying to get you to come inside because that's what they do in Little Italy. They try to talk to you and tell you how great their place is. Here's this one's called Casa Bella. You're closing, huh? Okay, cool. How was business? Yeah, it's rough, I know, yeah. Okay guys, so this is kind of the heart here of Chinatown in a way. Starting at the next block at Hester. Right here, Hester Street. Hmm. Between Hester and the next block. I forgot the name of the next block. I'll let you know. This one is called... This, this restaurant's always busy full of people. It's called Da Gennaro. Oh, easy free. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. I might have to go back and get a slice now. All right. I might have to go back and do that for you. Get a slice just for you. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. What murder happened at Umberto's? I don't know. Oh, man. I didn't even know they had a an outlet of the Umberto's Clam House from Hoboken. Umberto's Clam House. I have been out to Hoboken and I have had those. This, this, this Italian restaurant is famous in Hoboken. I've had their clams. So good. Oh, it is peaceful. La Nona, Ristorante Italiano. Let me see if I can show you, show you guys some menus so you guys get an idea of what things cost here. You guys want to see that? I'm looking for menus. I don't see one yet. Umberto's didn't have a menu out. Is there a menu here? No. This one says, Dear Customers, Due to COVID-19, Paisano's restaurant will be closed until further notice. Sorry for the inconvenience. See you soon. All right. They even took away their menu. No plan to sell. Here, here got a Chinese foot rub sign. Man, this is quiet. Are you guys enjoying this walk? Let me know. Uh, Dean, Hamila, Easy Free, Maurice, Dean, uh, oh, you guys. All right, I'm glad to have you in here with me. KNT Wing, no one hanging out. Yeah, no one hanging out. Ghost Town, it is, it is totally like a ghost town. This one is uh, a cigar shop, see, cigar shops. So Little Italy is like, it's kind of like Times Square for the tourists also. Mm -hmm. And it is packed full of tourists here. And at nighttime, they love to come here and eat dinner. Buy up uh, cannolis and come and hang out. It's, it's, it's active here up until like midnight. Mm -hmm. Well, all these restaurants are just shut down. Angelo's will, re will be reopening soon. Who knows? All these places are closed, and who knows if they're going to open up again. The landmark places, I'm pretty sure they'll open up again, but... Oh, check this guy out. The Cannoli King. As seen on the right, Rachel Ratio. The Cannoli King. Cannoli King. Apparently, you know, Ron Jeremy was thinking of doing a nickname, you know? And Cannoli King 
I hear he came really close to choosing that name, you know, for, for his movies. But he stuck with his real name, Ron Jeremy. So guess what? Ferrara's over here seems to be open. I don't know that. They might just, no, they're just kind of packing things up. Lasagna, my man. Can he have a bag? Yeah, he's leaving. He's late. I have a bag. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Is it open? What would you like? Uh, no, just looking around. Huh? Where's your mask? Oh, well, I'm not near anybody, so <laughs> just just looking around. Huh? Can't come, can't come in without the mask. I, I know. Can't come out because you're with my wife. <laughs> no, just just looking around. Yeah, you hit this private stairs. Did a great job. You lost six thousand pounds. Whoa! Thank you, thank you. All right, I could definitely use a mask. Okay, all right, thank you. I'm putting it on. Okay, cool. Yeah, we want to we want to show what what awesome stuff is open in New York, on on YouTube. We've been open every day, except Easter Sunday. But we open this weekend again, so I open on weekends. Uh huh. Not the cigarette. My mother killed me. Oh, we don't don't want to show mom. Okay, we'll keep it low. No, go inside, video, and then we'll talk. All right, cool. Just please erase the cigarette. I'm in the chef food this a cigarette. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. To totally. We're we're we got we got we're just going in. So I got my mask on. This 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 place is a landmark in Little Italy, and he says they've been open all the time. No closing. So they got all the Italian goodies here: chocolates, marzipone, tarone. Got the Lavazza coffee. Mini pastries are two dollars. Full size are four. It's four seventy-five. So you get it. So basically, I think you get a cannoli for four seventy-five. Maybe I don't know. How much is the cannoli? Four seventy-five. Oh, okay. Huh? You get in. Huh? Uh, you're, you're, uh, you're, 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 one of your staff let, let invited me in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to erase the cigarette for mom. All right, cool. Yep. Oh, fresh macarons. I don't see those there. You guys enjoy this? This place is the landmark in, in Little Italy. I used to come here when I was a little kid. Well, and many, many, and, and all the years, because I'm a New Yorker. Yeah, totally. So yeah. These are our Mother's Day gifts. Oh, is, that's what's going on. I see. So we had a little trouble logistically finding dry ice today. Ah. So we're gonna move 200 packages tomorrow and upgrade them to overnight. Oh, so so you're you're you're, sh you're shipping those out with the dry ice. We had to go get more dry ice because the people that make the dry ice were overwhelmed. Oh, were they? So we had to go to another part of New Jersey to get it. Ah. And. We couldn't be all over the place, and we started at five o'clock this morning. Oh man! All the food's ready. I had to put it away. That's the, well. That's so awesome that you're cooking for Mother's Day. So, well, I, I guess the dry ice sold that sold sells out easily because everyone's doing a lot of shipping now, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. ready to go. Macho. Oh, you guys tell everybody in my car to get in the car. Get in the car. <laughs> th th thanks for letting me go in and look. Thanks, you guys. Just the beginning part. Okay, got you, got you. Well, cigarettes for chefs. no cigarettes for chefs. No, all, all chefs seem to smoke outside the the, the, the uh, outside the restaurant. My family is oh, oh not, not for the family. Yeah. Well, nobody wants. We, we, we all want you healthy. Yeah. It is what it is. But Mama wants you healthy. So you got us going about the mask? <laughs> huh? Yeah. I don't have the mask, and you don't have the mask. Uh, but you're six no, but, it's, but, but we're six, we're six feet apart. It's the okay. Have a mask on. And we're outside, you know. Should I would hope. I don't know. The powers that we do, why they do. 
we're going to leave the American people. If they're alone, I can self quarantine myself. We have to wear our masks. I know, we've got to be careful. In New York, we know it's real. Right, because we're a vertical city. You're right. So if we don't listen to how to play the game, it's simple. It's really simplicity. In the countryside, they don't, they don't understand, they, they don't get, they don't see the reality like right. we do. I see people dying every day, homeless people, regular people. The mess helps us slow it down so we can figure out what to do. Exactly. And that's why we drove the curve down, because we listen. New York did very well. The beaches can open if they listen to their municipalities. Mm. If you don't listen, then they're forced to shut it. Unfortunately, if everybody goes to the beach, then it doesn't work. It's good to have people on the beach. They're going to have fun. Right. But they just have to keep and the vitamin D is so crucial. Right. Staying, staying, staying inside and not getting, vi getting vitamin D, that's going to it's gonna bring down our immune system. So it's a new, it's like a, going into playing poker. We just sat down and there's a new five card shoot. There's 260 cards. We can't count them that fast. Not the first couple of hands. Oh man, One, yeah. Right? So when it mutates, we gotta adapt. We gotta pivot. That's right. So we have to go back to listen to the doctors and everybody. We gotta eat our green vegetables. Yes, our that's so right. Our system is our green vegetables, build our immune systems. I bet you got the good broccoli rob here. I have the broccoli rob. I eat my oranges, I get them for the staff. Everything green. It's chlorophyll. I can see you were taking care of people here. Yeah, they, uh, you, you, you take your food with you. Get, you know, everybody. You look like everybody you're, home. No one's allowed to. When you're driving anybody out, that's so nice. Oh, I heard you saying everybody's getting in the car. Come on. Because we're not gonna go make the rounds. Because I don't know if I ride a subway. You take them pretty far. It is what it is. L like the, you take, you take people. Harlem, someone's gotta go to JFK. Uh huh. Someone's gotta go to Jersey. Oh, JFK. Oh, those are all different directions. We go all different ways. We go get everybody every morning. All different directions. When they, they saw the UV in the trains, when they learned to put the UV lights in the train, it will self-sterilize. I see what you're saying, you yeah. Just, the next guy just contaminates it. Yeah. So they can, they didn't matter have the light bulb yet. And I don't know if you can stay on the uh, an exposed time. So there's a whole dynamic that I don't know. That is cool. I know. You got me? Are, really are, are, are they going to start putting the UVs in the subway? That's interesting. If that's the best way I think we can self-do. I think so too. People, That'll slow it down. The truth is, we're asking too much from the government and not doing them much for ourselves. The slides, the mask oh, that's the dry ice. I see. Oh, ice. yeah. Yeah. So, this is only my thing. And I'm a nobody. No, you're somebody. Yes. Well, that's true. <laughs> but if we follow the simplicity of this, being overweight, you got to eat a diabetic diet right now. Because we know obesity is the number one people that are dying, not elderly. Uh huh. Second by diabetes, then elderly because they have a compromised immune system. So it's, those are three on the same level. So I went to a diabetics diet, dropped 15 pounds, mm. so that my body is well healing Good. itself and building my own immune system, so I can withstand if I get it. But I already had it in January. Had I what? I felt like someone broke my ribs. Oh, you feel like you like you probably January, had it, right? I got a bed for four or five days. Ah. I didn't know what it was. I was telling my sister, I don't feel right. I don't feel right. She was your depression. Just turned 55. I'm not depressed. I don't feel right. My bones hurt. My yeah. bones never hurt. And I'm a bull. So, again, New York is doing great. The country is doing great. This is new to us. Very new. We have to just chill out. And hopefully, what will come out of this will be something great. We'll learn to respect each other. Economies of skills between the rich and poor will even out a little bit more. Because the old system wasn't working. And we'll respect each other globally better. Well, I, I yeah, we need I, something I, like this for the world to come together. Well, I love your I positivity. Think, right. So we're gonna a billion people might get sick, a hundred million to ten percent. Because how do the people in India deal with this? Brazil, they all on top of each other. And if we can't explain it, the death rate is too strong, too fast. Yeah. So what I learned here is unless we're saying it in Spanish, in Russian, in Italian, people don't know what to do. They're afraid. People need truly a pathway to working papers so all the immigrants can get checked so we don't keep contaminating ourselves. Mm. And then we'll know where these people are. They, they can't go home, so we might as well know where they are. Well, you're talking about our, wor our, our, Everybody our, in America our workers that are to being taken care of by the American government. Right registered now, or not. Lockdown. Yeah, so let's exactly. Register everybody. Let's charge them ten thousand dollars each for working papers. If they don't work right, then we can exp then they can go home in a year or so. Right. The stimulus plan was really wonderful. It got us money to keep everybody working, so that we would spend. 
mm. and then put money back into social security and the federal government it was we the people that fed us our tax money that's what we did exactly so whoever thought it was really brilliant so i was given so much money to pay the employees with which uh, was beautiful so you could stay so they can go out and spend yeah. as long as they came back to work right you got all these people here working now yeah it's awesome I, we, we, for, i was you told got, to you got, put these people to work you got ferraris open right and if, that's wonderful and that all these other all the places American are closed helped us do this because that, if it that's wasn't right. the americans tax money that was there and the tax money is going to pay it off we just got to be more efficient with the city's budget the state budget and the overall budget put yeah. the military back as much as you can right now protect home base <laughs> I, I wish it was like that it's, it's hard, it's hard <laughs> to get that any of that ha any of that to happen but yeah <laughs> oh man this is francesco hi. hi francesco hi jason how are you, how are you, how are you doing you yeah, um, I, 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 make you, I make YouTube videos. From where? Bigger, oh, from Naples? Uh, oh, no. nice, nice. Yeah, it's Naples. Naples. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I, 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 I actually just came from Italy. Uh -huh. I flew from Sicily on March 14. Really? Back to New York. Yeah, that was, but that was... So what information that was odd. that come from when somebody clicked? Okay, let me know. Information? So, so, uh, information? At Ferrara. At Ferrara. Cafe. Ferrara Cafeteria. Cafe. Cafe. We make coffee. Codes. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh man, oh man, that sounds good. Well, I, I know this place really well. <clears throat> hey guys, how you doing? I, I, I see you guys still with me. I see you guys. Glasses, no mask. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Anyway, they, 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 they do really good food here. This is just a landmark, so it was nice that you let me, let me come in and stuff. And he wants to show that they're, they got stimulus money and they're working. Every, everybody, they got their, their, their staff working, even though you can see there's no customers coming in. But, but they're sending things, sending things out. They got dry ice so they can ship out Mother's Day gifts. Hello. Hello. You guys want to see how much, uh, okay, so uh, they got gelato and sorbet. It's $6 and $7, looks like, six to seven. Large pastries, $4.75 to $6.75. Hey, boss, this is my sister's car. All right, grazie. Adeline, we're a family business, and we're here 127 years. Oh, that's so cool, so cool. She would love to see you. I should come back and visit you sometime. We, 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 could, we could show some more on a video. In the kitchen. If you come back tomorrow, see us work. A oh, oh. full production go. 20 people. Maybe we should do that. All right. Uh, uh, let, let me, let me uh, your, your uh, phone. Is that your phone or, or email? No. Oh, just I, come on I in, right? I don't like email. I don't hate mail because I hate dealing with it. Okay, got that. Read. Just come on that's in in my person. Sister, that's why I gave it to you. <laughs> just walk in. Wait, well, what's your name again? Have you missed Ernest. Ernest, okay. Jason Rupp. Ask for a mask or ask for a mask. Okay, okay. Ask for a mask and they got him. Okay, we good. We opened this weekend, right? I have a mask for everybody. Yeah. They don't bring a mask. It's $2 a mask. I ask you to... Throw oh, so it's $2 gloves. a mask normally. Because they should have their own mask. They should, yeah. I got $2,000 masks, but I have to replenish them. I know. It's not easy to get them. So we ask you to someone there. You don't have a mask, we give you a mask. Over here, the, the, right, you got the, you got so the, you uh, the hand... The hand uh, Hand sanitizer. Throw away your gloves. Sanitize your hands. We give you the gloves. You can touch whatever you want. Oh, okay, okay. With the gloves. So there's someone to go to Greece. Then we will put up the stanchions so you can walk in and out. Oh, they, they can be in line like here and there, and so there on, on these on these uh, the piece of tapes. Right. I see. I see. So right now it's a shipping room, and then this weekend it's back to being a bakery. Oh, this weekend. So it's so a weekend now is opening. It's open to for, for walk-in. Birthday in. cakes. Everything. People walk up. They got birthday cake this morning. They can get an order birthday. and everything. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. We're waiting for the drive home. <laughs> okay. See you. Good night. All right. I, th I think I'm going to use some of this hand sanitizer. Because uh, it's out here for people to use. Uh oh. That came out quick. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. This stuff is liquid gold in New York City. Liquid gold. Hand sanitizer, liquid gold. Good night, guys. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Hey you guys. Right, let me show you some more places. You know what that hand sanitizer? Mm, it smells really good. It, that is not normal hand sanitizer. That's good stuff. It kind of smells good. It's, it's kind of smells like rum. All right, over here there's uh, Promonte ravioli. You can get your fresh homemade ravioli here. Oops, let me close my tripod here so I can hold it better. Oh, here you can get your fresh ricotta, mozzarella. It's called Aliva. And this place has been here forever. Normally you can get some uh, some desserts here, some some gelato. But not not now. But anyway, that was nice. Ferraras, the landmark of Little Italy, is planning to open on this weekend. And that's at the corner of Grand Street and Mulberry. All right, let's keep going. You got a rabbit up here for Easter. I think for Easter? I don't know. I'm assuming. I think they were they were hoping for a big Easter rush, but that didn't come. Or is it the year of the rabbit? I don't know. Okay, so that was really nice. He gave me a mask, but I'm taking it off since I'm outside again. So now I actually have a spare mask. That was that was works out for me. And that was really nice he gave it to me. So there's a La Bella Vida closed. Amici Ristorante closed. If you guys know New York City for a long time, you will know about the Guardian Angels. So here's a posting on the on the uh, parking meter. This is the looking for people to join the Guardian Angels. The Guardian Angels is a volunteer subway and street patrol serving New York City since 1979. Our presence helps deter crime and keep our cities safe. The Guardian Angels work with local groups and state governments to create a safer community for everyone. Guardianangels.org in case you want to join them. Maybe you do. So there's a lot of delivery guys going around. Most everybody that's out right now, like at least half, they're just, they're all delivery people. Here's this one's called La Mela Restaurante. All closed. It was nice, at least Ferrara is doing, doing, uh, make, doing orders. Lots of deliveries going around. But what's odd is there's uh, lots of delivery guys going around on bicycles and everything. But I see almost nothing open. So it kind of makes me wonder which places are open. Because it's only... I've probably only seen a few places open while I've been walking around. Here's the NYPD. More delivery bicycles. Look how peaceful this is. Now we're at Mulberry and Broom. Police looking at me. <laughs> Actually, I didn't see them looking at me, did they? I was looking at them. Here's another pizzeria. I've, I've actually tried the pizza from here. This is called uh, Marcelino. Marcelino? I don't know. Marcelino. Trattoria and Pizzeria. Alright, so now we're at Broom Street. I think officially this kind of ends Little Italy, but there's still a few more Italian restaurants uh, straight ahead. We could go check them out. Oh, I'm so glad to see you guys chatting with each other. Good. 
Tokyo Rose, Steve Sitchell, what's up? Brooklyn, Salusiana's, uh, Argentina, Italian food's so good. I know it is, it's so good. You guys want to see the prices here? Okay, at Marcelino, how much is it? You can get a mini Napoli, na, na, Napolis, Napolitan, mini Napolitan pie is only $5 for the, for the plain, uh, and six dollars pepperoni, six dollars mushrooms, six dollars olives, artichokes, prosciutto and arugula, ham and pineapple. You got your Hawaiian for only six dollars. Damn, that's a deal. Oh, okay, okay. That's only I think if you order, because I, I. That's only if you order right here, at the takeout window, I think. But I don't know that for sure. You can order that at that window, but, but I don't see that they're open. I don't know if they're open during these times or not but they got a deal right here look at this chicken parmesan for ten dollars that's a, that's actually a really a deal totally a deal oh, oh some uh, ASMRJ says why is it so cheap I'll tell you why you know why it's cheap because you got to get it on the side here I think and also because the prices are out. You notice that a lot of restaurants don't have the prices. Those places are not cheap. If the price is big and you know on the on the wall like this, that's why it's cheap. And so they're gonna get the business. Um, the, but the places that don't put their menus out, you know, advertise the low prices. There's doesn't mean they don't get business, but it's just uh, they're catering to somebody else. A different level. Oh, this place is open. You can't go in, but you can. You just uh, stand here and order. Uh, nice. Okay, let's let's just take a take a little look. Uh, oh, there's some lemon tarts. A zinger bar. Nice. Ling linger, Linzer. Bar. Truffle brownies, three fifty. Hey, Hello. hi. Just taking a look at what's open and showing everybody. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's some tiramisu. A whole tiramisu for six dollars. That's that. That looks nice. That's a deal. There's some uh, homemade cheesecake down there. Six dollars. And then cannolis. See, that's how you know you, when you get a good cannoli. When, when they, they they don't fill the cannoli yet. They fill it to order. That's how you know you get a good cannoli. Because if if the if the filling is sitting in the cannoli too long, that then that then the shell is going to get all soggy and it's not delicious anymore at all. That's that's it. That's exactly how you want it. And oh, we got some, got some some macaronis. Nice Italian coffee. All right, thanks for being open. See you. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank good you. night. Oh, and they got homemade gelato. I could eat homemade gelato anytime. Oh, 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 check it out. Okay. They also have masks for three dollars. So it looks like mask prices are all over the place. Clothing places can't stay open. Check it out. Thailand elephant pants. <laughs> Hurry, no, no mask. Okay, I'm looking at your comments. Yeah, I don't have a mask because I'm not, I'm not in, in a busy area. I'm not near anybody. But I do have two masks in my pocket now that I can use, and that I, I did did use before. Oh, here's the uh, here's the newsstand. They've got studs. If anybody is looking to stud, they're open. Yeah, Little Italy is definitely definitely over. So actually, actually that was the end of Little Italy. That was the end. That was it. Okay, guys, let's walk over to Lafayette. La Fiesta. You guys know Soho, Nolita, 
No, what it, you guys want to know what Nolita means? It means north of north of Little Italy. All these places closed. It is. The truth is, I'm not going to be walking around too much because it can be dangerous. I never been mugged in New York City, but I did have a close call once. Just when. I, one, one time I was coming back from hanging out deep in, in, in Queens late night and I fell asleep on the train. I woke up at the last, at, at the last stop where I, where, where I wanted to go to, which was Times Square. I woke up, nobody else was on the train, and there was a guy with his fingers in my pocket. So I immediately went berserk and he said, whoa, whoa, man, I was just trying to wake you up. You're crazy, man. I was just trying to wake you up. And then he, and then he, then he left while I was uh, cursing him out and, and wanted to fight with him. Champion Pizza. They're open. Pizzeria's open. Pizzeria's open. That looked like a hospital worker in there, worker in there getting a slice. Check out this one. Helen Ficalora. Um, and this is this this is a totally popular place to hang out in this in this square. Hey, how's the pizza there? Uh, is it really? Right. I just, first time. It's just all right. Okay, that's good. There's better places. That's all you need is, is it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> you needed something quick, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Pizza in the car. That's about where you can eat your pizza. You can eat, eat it out in the cold, or you can sit in your car. Oh, this, this, this salad. Oh, this is oh, this is a crepe store, but they got uh, juices, avocado salads, crepes, beers, fresh sangria. Oh man, oh man, you gotta like that. Now we're getting into Soho. You guys didn't think you'd get such a big walk around New York like this, did you? But we're getting it. Now we're in the fashion, fashion zone of downtown Spring Street. Spring Street in Soho. This is where you see the, the hot fashions walking along. This is where people be hanging out usually. All the all the trendy tr trendy uh, young people going around here. But not now. It's really fun hanging out at the uh, at this coffee shop over here. And, and also in the next block there's a Starbucks. Everybody just chills and hangs out there. Very fun. All right, I'll try to try to hold this more steady. Sorry, guys. There, oh, oh, so, uh, the comedic truth says there used to be a water show, a water spring there. That's how the street got its name. Really? Too bad that we. Uh, too bad they built over the spring, right? Well, that's called Joe the Juice. That's the coffee shop that that's really popular here in in uh, in Soho to go hang out at. Oh, check it out. Chipotle's open. The same dude who went for a slice is going to get some Chipotle now. He's not stopping. Oh, guys, here's the Amazon store. From what I understand, I think you can go in this store and kind of don't even have to check out. It just charges you. So I don't know. I don't know, though. I do see a checkout counter there, though. I don't know. I actually haven't sh shopped here yet. But this is the, the Starbucks, which is really fun to hang out in. Everybody sits all along the benches here. They, they got a... Uh, 
tables all around in there and there was a long line for every Starbucks in New York City so uh, for the for the toilet and then there's a there's usually a line for the for the coffee over here definitely the uh, the downtown hipster Starbucks to, to hang out in, in in New York City this is the one Crosby and Spring Street here's some more boarded up shops this one actually says MoMA. MoMA didn't want to take a chance. <laughs> they boarded that place up. MoMA has a shop there, I guess. You know, honestly, it's getting really quiet right now out here. New York has been really safe for the past 10, 15 years. But, that's because it's been really busy. More and more and more and more people moving in. <laughs> oh, there was a rat. It almost tripped you. Yeah. It just, it, did, you, did you kick it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you scared. That rat got really startled by, by, the, uh, by him. <laughs> oh, man. This is when the rats, you know, come out and get really bold, when there's no people around. You hear how quiet that is? It is so quiet right now. How big are the rats? Some, uh, the rats can be pretty big. The rats can be like, like, uh, on a, you know, they can be like medium-sized cats. Okay, guys, I want to tell you that I'm walking, so so don't don't be upset if I don't if I don't respond to your message. But why don't you all respond to your messages together? Can you do that? D don't be upset if I didn't see your message, please. You're all very important to me, but I'm I'm walking and I'm trying to talk and tell you things. So if I don't see your message, it's not personal. I'm not ignoring anybody. Steve Madden, closed. This is Broadway. Downtown, Broadway between Canal Street and 8th Street. It's a major shopping area for clothes. But all these places are closed. And quite a lot of them put paper to cover up all their windows too. Places closed for good. Retail space on offer for rent. Banana Republic looks all looks all ready to open. Lights are on. They're showing off their new fashions. Aldo is showing off their their boots. Those are pretty nice, ladies. All right, let's see, if I had to choose one, which one would I choose? I like them all, actually, I like, this one's nice, this one's nice. They're all really nice, depends what, what you're wearing. You gotta, gotta match, match, what your, match, match your outfit. I didn't even know about this. The Museum of Ice Cream. We are temporarily closed for the protection of our guests. Be well and we'll see you when we reopen again. I did not know there was a museum of ice cream. Did not know. Look at that, museum of ice cream. And look at that. They even sell tickets to the museum of ice cream. Man, I need an ice cream buffet. That's what I need right now. That is awesome. Might have to contact them to do it to, uh, you know, Jason Rupp's hungry. He wants to do an ice cream tour. Oh, so, so uh, down here in the grates, I can hear the subway train uh, speakers and everything. Dean and DeLuca. Oh, in case you guys don't know, Dean and DeLuca, it's famous here. 
Dean and DeLuca is gone. No more Dean and DeLuca over here. It, it was, it's been here so long. Right at the corner of Prince and Broadway. Gone. Oh, let's see their sign. Dean and DeLuca, it is with deep regret that we announce the temporary closing of this location and will reopen again soon. All right, so they're gonna reopen. All right, this is good. We have been proud, we have been proud, we have been proud part of this neighborhood and building for over 30 years. From all of the Dean and DeLuca team, we thank you for all the years of support you've given us. So that's interesting, the sign says they're gonna reopen but they've been closed for a long time now and I don't see a lot of uh, fix-up going on in there from what I heard was that they were closed for close this location for good but oh yeah and it says retail space available for rent I don't I think that that sign is too old that I don't think uh, my feeling is they're not gonna open that is a that's a closure that's a permanent closure is my feeling is I think that sign's old because actually it's available for rent. But the brand is still alive. They even opened the Dean and DeLuca in Bangkok, Thailand. And I, I think they have Dean and DeLuca in Singapore, just a, a, a lot of cities all over the world now. Dean and DeLuca's gotten big. But too bad they, they, they got to get rid of their. What we at what in New York at what we know as the like the main store store for rent lots of stores for rent oh it feels good walking around getting outside and I kind of feel good walking out at nighttime because there's nobody around me I got my mask off and I'm just breathing fresh air it feels good. Are you guys enjoying this walk around New York City? I'm going to look at your comments a little bit right now. Um, Dan says it's going to take a while to get everything back. Yeah. Dan, guess what? We just had another beer. We had some Two Roads Brewery from Connecticut. And I, I had it with some Indonesian food earlier. There's an Indonesian food bazaar that they do in Queens once a month. And the leader of that has been giving out food, charity, uh, all over the city. And she messaged me and that she was in the area and she had an extra box for mom and I. So she dropped, she dropped, dropped by, I came down and picked up a bag with two boxes of Indonesian food. And I drank that with a beer. All right, right now we're at a major intersection. This is Broadway and Houston. Peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. Check it out, look at Broadway. Dark. This building up here is pretty famous. It's called the Woolworths Building. Woolworths. Can you guys, okay, I see you, Hare, Minong, Constantine, beer sucks. Oh, well, you don't like it. No beer for you. You're five minutes away. I did a small, Christopher Woods, I did a small nighttime walk in Amsterdam last year. Oh, yeah. I love Amsterdam. I love walking to Amsterdam at, at, at nighttime. It's so beautiful and peaceful I want to show you how peaceful this uh, Broadway is it's never this peaceful right, let's take a walk uh, down Houston Street and and check out what's going on. Honestly though, it's getting a little uncomfortably quiet here right now. 
That said, though, there's there's plenty of police around, but you wouldn't want to be doing this in the in the Bronx, in some areas of Brooklyn. You, you don't want to be walking around aimlessly with a with a camera on a stick. <laughs> right now, it seems okay, but it's definitely not something recommended in other areas right now just because there's not many people around and another 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 uh, person that we know asked for prayers for her for their friend their friend's mom and dad were walking in Chelsea in the afternoon and that's right in downtown Manhattan her, their, their mom and dad were attacked, beaten, and robbed. Right in the in the daylight afternoon. That's how quiet it is. So you don't want to be walking around in quiet in quiet areas right now. If someone's honking. Okay, guys. Looks like construction's still going on in this building. This is going to be a brand new NYU building. Right by, uh, I'm not sure, I forgot what this street's called. But it's uh, just one block from Broadway and Houston. More dorms. More real estate investments from, from NYU. NYU's got so much money here in New York City and people just keep giving them more money. Endowments, uh, given to charity they give to NYU, people leave their retirements to, to NYU, NYU is New York University. And then the students pay such high tuition, 30 to 50,000 easily, you know like in included with their with their meal plans and, and and all that stuff. It's very common to graduate from NYU with 100, 200,000 in debt. That's why I didn't go there. <laughs> Otherwise I would have loved to have gone there. Okay guys, I'm your comments because I'm Walking in a, in a less interesting uh, block here. It's 9.50 in New York. Can't, can't afford it. These kids can't, most of these kids can't afford it either. But they get they get heavy loans, you know, to, to, to pay for that. And then they end up paying on their loans for 10, 20, 30 years. That said though, if, if some are in a major where they can get a high paying job afterwards then it then it all works out you know you're gonna be a a big lawyer you know you're gonna you're gonna be a a, a high demand you know plastic surgeon when you get out you know and, and things like that then and you can pay off your loans really quick but unfortunately a lot of students are going to NYU and they're not picking and choosing their majors they're they're going there for acting they're going there for art for American literature, or you know, they're going there to to study French. So get get a get a degree in in, in French language. I, I I don't think it was you know that, that then you you might not get a good return on your investment, right? But if you're studying business, you know, law, then it then it can totally work out in New York because starting salaries in New York can be very high. That said, though, you gotta work really hard in New York City in these jobs. Really hard. It's not just uh, nine to five when you do finance. It's more like it's more like uh, eight a.m. to eight p.m. or eight a.m. to ten p.m. And you'll be working at home too. It's not just uh, it's not just your forty hours, because if you're not working 
if you're only working 40 hours and you do finance, you're working in, in finance, these, these uh, corporate banks and everything, you're not going to move up. They're not going to, they're not going to give you a promotion. You got to, you got to work much harder than that. You got to work double. Lisa says, are you safe? Uh, that I'm not so sure of. Because it's, it's getting uncomfortably quiet right now. You see how, how quiet this is? But I feel so good of getting out. But yeah, I think it might not be so safe walking around. Here's the European Waxing Center. European Wax Center. In Europe, they probably have an American wax center because it, it, it sounds exotic if you get a foreign waxing. Dan says how, how crazy, how quiet it is. Yeah, so peaceful. It, as Mooney says, starting salaries are high, living costs high. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and, and most, most people have to share an apartment. So it's common to rent a bedroom, you know, with, with uh, three, four other people. So guys, this is Bleecker Street. This is major, major nightlife street. These bars are busy, usually busy. Here's the bitter end, always music every night. The peculiar, peculiar pub. Here's uh, Terra Blues. Right now I'm st standing right in the center of Bleecker Street. You can't do that usually. Here's a deal on, on massage though, look at this. You can get a foot rub for $29 an hour. Let me, show, let me get up close so you guys can see it, that it's, that it's real. Can you, uh, let's see, there, can you read that? $29 an hour for a foot rub. A back rub is $39 an hour. That said, though, they don't, they don't pay their staff uh, much obviously and so you're expected to make up with that with a tip So you want to give like ten dollars at the lowest or twenty dollars Oh Man, this is the Red Lion Awesome place to come see live come here live music or Red Lion entrance here Red Lion see Red Lion Awesome place to come hang out for live live rock music all the time. Wicked Wheelies usually doesn't have live music, but it's 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 heavy 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 drinking going on there and always beer pong. If you ever want to come and play beer pong, you always get to find people to play beer pong with. And Red Lion always has tables out here to hang out at. They have food, but it's pretty greasy. It's pretty greasy and oily. So well, here's our essential workers delivering to the CVS. Yo, you got toilet paper? I see toilet paper. That's toilet paper. That's toilet paper, right? Well, those are in high demand. Yeah, I think so. That's right. People need to know where to get them, you know? If you want to get toilet paper, you come here. I don't think he's too happy about telling people, though. He doesn't want you to know. <laughs> he don't want you to know. Uncle Ted's Chinese cuisine. 
it's like a little bit higher end Chinese food. I used to eat here when it was just standard Chinese food. I used to love General Zhou's chicken. And I still like it once in a while. Nowadays, not too much, not quite as much. Just because I always love when I when it when the, the General Zhou chicken hits my mouth. It's delicious chewing it, but then I'm so full afterwards, and I just feel so oily and guilty afterwards because it's it just clogs up your body. They usually give you give it to you with a little little blo broccoli, but not enough. Oh look, somebody's giving away some sneakers. They put them out. See, this is what we do in New York City. If we got some extra sneakers, we don't want them, just put them out. And somebody will take them. Okay, let me check who's on here. 138 people. All right, cool. Okay, guys. Oh, next block. We want to go to the next block. I want to show you McDougal Street. Does anybody know McDougal Street? Let me know. I'm going to look in the comments right now to see if anybody has been, knows McDougal Street. Chinese bat restaurant. <laughs> chicken and broccoli, yeah. Chicken and broccoli, yeah, chicken and broccoli, that's good, I know. I love all the Chinese food, I know. No, I mean, not, no, I'm not, not all of it, but I don't want any chicken feet. Well, this deli's plenty open right here. They're fully stocked. But they got the rule over here. Stop spread of coronavirus. Maintain six feet of distance. New Yorkers working together can slow the spread of coronavirus, COVID-19, in New York City. When you go out for essential needs, work or get, yeah. When you go out for essential needs, work or get fresh air, keep distance between yourself and others. Six feet. And that's what we're doing. So that was a that was an unmarked police car there, and a policeman just came out of it. Well, she's doing deliveries. A lot of people in New York who who have never done food deliveries before. All of a sudden, they're getting to work as, as delivering food now. Because what else can you do? Well, there's an Amazon deliverer right there. When you see guys with those big tubs and a, and a bicycle with a, with a cart in the back, generally they're, they're all delivering for Amazon. This is a really popular vegan place. To eat it's called by Chloe it's really delicious stuff actually really good stuff it's like a vegan healthy vegan uh, feel good food it's really delicious they got ice cream they got cookies brownies this is McDougal Street which is a very famous place to hang out nighttime daytime all the time Nowadays, there's just a couple places open just for kind of takeout fast food. This guy's on his battery bicycle delivering. Um, back when I was a bike messenger, we didn't have battery bicycles. We actually had to pedal all over New York City. And I got really good workouts in. Nowadays, you just 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 twist it and use use your use your battery. This is one of my favorite places to eat. Berlin Donor. They have good good uh, kebabs, falafels. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, you spare a little change? No, oh, I hey. no, I can't. Can you help me out? Where are you from, bro? No, I, I, I can't. I can't. Where are you from? I'm from New Haven. Are you oh, okay. are you American? Now no. that I'm on your, your movie, that's okay. <laughs> Are you American or, or from another country? Yeah, I'm American. You have, an, you have an accent or no? I don't have an accent, no. 
You have a little accent. I think. But, but I'm American though. I know you could be American and have an accent, but where's your accent from? Not you, but your accent. Uh, just it's just from me. You're not from another country. Originally? No, no, no. You you're you're from New Haven. Yeah. Cool, cool. Heck yeah, bro. I see you here all the time. I know. I'm fucking homeless around. Here. I hear you. I hear you. Yo, can you help me out with a little money to get cigarettes? No, I can't. No, no. Can you uh, help me get cigarettes? No. Please. No. Where wish, you wish you the best, though. Wish you the best. Where are you going now? I'm walking around. Oh, all right. Check you later. Okay. See you. Bye. That's the cookie. Yeah, they got the good cookies. Not not too cheap though. Insomnia Next cookies. Time I expect you don't expect don't expect anything. <laughs> he, as he was walking away, he said, "Next time I expect cigarettes." And I said, "Nah, don't expect anything." <laughs> Man. Thomas says, "Look at that mask." Well, unfortunately, I got my mask off right now because I'm walking and I want fresh air. And I'm not walking near anybody. Well, until the until the, the weirdo came up to me. Here's the acai bar. Ethiopian restaurant. Might be about time to head back. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just after 10 p.m. and I and I do know that Mamoon's closes at 10. That's where we get falafels at. But I'm not really that hungry anyway for it. UV says go go beat him up. <laughs> Looks like Mamoon's is staying open for deliveries. I'm surprised. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the walk around New York City so you get to see, you know, what it really looks like here. What does it really look like? And, I, and I'm walking in the nightlife zones right now. This is nightlife. I'm not walking in a zone where it's usually quiet at night. This is where it's usually really busy at night. And check it out. No traffic. I don't see any car up here. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? How you doing? You making video? Yeah. What are you videoing? I'm videoing everything. Just walking oh, around. Are huh? I know it's amazing. It's so peaceful and quiet. I love it. It's it's it is it's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's eerie. It's uncomfortable. It's. It reminds me of Mad Max Tavern. Have you been seeing much violence around? What what do you see? I don't know. It's the static, so there's more burglary and there's breaking more um, ATMs. Oh, B &E. breaking ATMs. Oh, breaking ATMs. Actually, violence is going down and burglary and, and stuff like that. More petty thefts and more well, violence and rape is going more down. More from CVS and stuff like that. You know, oh, they just walk into CVS, swipe some stuff, and, and, and run off, they're right? They're calling it a, yeah. a, a crime demic because what's happening is they're letting people out that don't meet the quotas in the jails. Yeah. Like they were supposed to be, like, if you're over 50. If you're over 50, you've got diabetes, if you got emphysema and all that, you meet the criteria to get out of jail. Yeah. Oh, so they let them out thing, early? There was this, yeah, yeah they're we letting them, early. if you got a year or less, they're letting them out early. But what the thing is, they're you letting out people at 24, they're letting out people at 25. They let a guy out that was uh, doing yeah, D&Es, yeah. and the day he got out, he got arrested on, he was out two days. I heard about that stuff, yeah. And, and it's the DA and the commissioner and everybody that's uh, anti-crime is going oh, shit, fucking sorry. bat shit. What? Good job, Chris. All right, I'm going They're going bat here. shit, you know? They're yeah, that's right. That's right. What people, if people, uh, there's opportunities and there's nobody watching. It's, the streets are quiet. The people that made the bail reform, I forget what they call it, the Democrats and the Republicans, whatever. The ones are, are fucking anti-crime and one's fucking, you know, the right and the bail reform. And yeah. Watch the money on the jails and it's overcrowded and all the other shit. I know. It's a battle between all right, st stay safe, guys. Stay warm. Well, you heard him. <laughs> uh, so he was telling about people have... He's been seeing more crime, such as walking into the CVS, swiping a bunch of stuff and running out. 
a lot like more shoplifting and ATM thefts. Yeah. ATM thefts. A Breaking into an ATM, that would be that's not easy. That's that's but it makes sense that there'd be more ATM thefts now since there's there's less there's less people watching. And these businesses that have ATMs are closed. But I guess the money is still in the ATM. Easy Free says, do it. Your beard makes you look hard. Yeah, I think it's, this beard is good for, uh, is really, really good for a pandemic time in New York City. Handable, love you, give me a hug. No! No hugging now. Lisa, go home, have a hot chocolate. I need that hot chocolate. This is a very weird feeling out here, I tell you. And I'm in, the, I'm in, I'm in about the safest area that, I, that you could be in. Imagine the, re the other parts of New York City. I mean, I'm in, I'm in like the main part downtown in New York, in, in Manhattan. Imagine how it is in Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, in, in the really quiet, you know, residential areas. You don't want to be walking around. New Haven, Connecticut, the guy asking for change, yeah. He, he, he's asked me for change every time I've walked through this area. Every time. I think that's his, it's his full-time job asking everybody for change. Well, I'm, I'm checking out your comments, guys. You should have asked him if he could spare a few bucks for a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, I, I should just, I should just throw, the, throw it right back to these guys, yeah. Rob says, go home, Jason, before you get mugged. Rose says, wonder if they'll bump into that other bum asking for, for cigarettes. <laughs> I think they probably, I don't know, I, I think, I've seen them together before actually, those three. So they, they, they know each other. How far from home are you? About a 20 minute walk. Interesting to see what it's like there. Yeah, it is. I'm going to show you one more thing, one more landmark food place here. Joe's Pizza, made okay, famous in Spider. Carlton Arms Hotel. Say, say it again. Carlton Arms Hotel. For what? Every all the hallways and every room is painted by a different artist, different murals, different different um, themes. Oh, Carlton. When we were kids, we used to trip on mushrooms and run around. <laughs> it's called Carlton Arms. Carlton Arms. It's a hidden jewel. Go see it. Where? It's a hidden jewel in New York. That's where people know about. What corner? It's on Twenty Fifth and Third. Oh, Twenty Fifth and Third Avenue. Okay, got it, got it. Thanks, bro. You heard it from him. He used to he used to uh, trip out on mushrooms on shrooms and go hang out and, and run the hallways of the Carlton Arms Hotel on 3rd Avenue, 25th Street. I was never like a kid like that, you know, I, like getting, doing shrooms and running around hotels, but that's why I don't know. So guys, there's a good deal here, McDonald's, two for two dollars, mix and match. You can have a coffee and a sausage burrito or a sausage McMuffin if that's something that gets you happy. Okay, let's check out the, the signs on the McDonald's and how you get to order from McDonald's. McDonald's is closed. She says, uh, she's, she's motioning, come back tomorrow. So, uh, at McDonald's in New York City, only 10 customers are allowed in the restaurant. Uh, they encourage you to order from the app. You can order from Uber Eats, Grubhub, or DoorDash. Enhanced safety measures are wellness and temperature checks for employees, face and, and gloves, face coverings, enhanced cleaning of high contact areas, social distancing procedures, frequent hand washing. And over here's another sign for New York City McDonald's. It says we are currently offering a limited menu. Please check out the menu board to see which favorites are available. All right. Then they got the same thing in Spanish. Uh, over here, takeout only service. Due to recommendations from local authorities, we are moving to takeout only. 
We all know that. Only takeout in New York. Our dining room's not available. Okay. No entry permitted without a mask or cloth face covering. Due to government regulation, we all... Due to government regulation, all customers and crew must wear a mask or face covering while in the restaurant. Entry is only permitted for those wearing one. We apologize for any inconvenience and appreciate your support in keeping crew and guests safe. And there's another one. The whole different sign, but just I think it's repeating the same thing. Uh, must wear a face covering or a mask due to government regulations. You guys want to see what it looks like inside? Check it out. This is a really busy McDonald's usually. And, and actually, I think this one is usually open 24 hours. So you, you walk, walk in and you cannot walk forward. You can't. So you have to turn right and you got to go around this way and go to the counter. And there's caution tape around so you can't sit anywhere. You can't sit anywhere there with caution tape. All right, guys. Uh, I, I'm not trying to bore you, but I, but I I feel it. It's pretty interesting, though. Seven Eleven's open. Y are you guys finding this interesting? Let me know. Oh, uh, Stephen Sitchell, I like that. Press one if you live in in any of the five boroughs. Do you live in New York City? Put a one. Put a one. That way we can run a... Oh, there we go. This is interesting. Here you can see more of the red... Uh, of the yellow tape blocking off all of the seating areas. Nobody allowed to sit down. See? Check it out. Honestly, it kind of looks like a crime scene. This, this totally looks like a hood McDonald's. <laughs> but we're not in the hood here. Oh man, this is Waverly. West 3rd, 6th Avenue. It's quiet. This guy can't hear what I'm saying. Almost all runners are wearing Bluetooth headphones. They don't hear anything you say. That's why when I was when I was saying mask and no mask, most people don't hear me. You hear how you hear how quiet that is? So peaceful. So peaceful, but the lights just turned green, so some cars are coming. Well, that was that wasn't many cars. Can anybody tell me what building that is? Right here. Can anybody tell me what building that is? Let me know. You get props if you say it first. Oh, this is peaceful. It's so peaceful right now. It's so peaceful that you can even hear me whispering. I'm right in the middle of the street. I'm just trying to demonstrate how peaceful it is. Oh, I hear a subway train coming right here. I gotta, I gotta show you guys the Empire State Building because I actually didn't check what color it is tonight but it's been, it's been blinking red for many, many, many different nights but I don't know about tonight Oh, there's those Oh, there's, there's somebody walking their dog down there I thought it was the same people telling, telling me about crime Here's Joe's Pizza. 
Oh, it looks... I, I don't think they're open. Wow, Joe's closed. Usually Joe's Pizza over here? They're open till like 4 or 5 in the morning. Right here. Joe's Pizza made famous exactly this location. There, there's actually more locations of Joe's Pizza now, but this is the location that was made famous in Spider-Man. Usually this is a busy place at night. Not now. Uh, so I'm gonna read the menu for you guys since you probably can't read it. One slice is $3. One Sicilian slice is $4. That means it's thick and it's shaped in a, uh, as a square. Um, they got, if you want fresh mozzarella on the slice, it's $4. If you want one topping, it's gonna be $4. If you want a large cheese, pie it's gonna be $22 in case you guys don't know if you get the large pie it does save you money rather than buying separate slices but actually not that much usually the way pizzerias price their their slice to pie uh, comparison is one pie costs the same as seven slices and there's eight slices in a pie so basically if you if you order the pie, what you're doing is you're buying you're, you're paying for seven slices and getting one free. That's what it is. So it does you know save you something like like uh, if you're three people and you each want to have a slice each you know then then it works out. You may as well just buy the whole pie and share the pie. So I'm not a big fan of 99 cent pizza. Uh, I prefer a good, good pizza. Uh-oh, Empire State Building is totally red tonight. Totally red. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. It's blinking red. Yep. There. It's blinking red. And it's fitting. There's a lot of deaths in New York still. 300 people dying every day in the last few days. <clears throat> Hope you guys are enjoying this. I just decided to go out and just try this out with you guys. Usually this park here is where we all get our Joe's Pizza Slice. From there, some people hang out inside, but it's too too busy. So we take our slice, our pie, and we cross the street, and we hang out in the parks on the benches. And there's a really beautiful fountain in there now. Nowadays, I always see this park closed off. They don't want people hanging out there. Uh, oh, here we go. It says, caution, pesticide application. Uh, so they, so here I, they'll, they'll put, put in different dates of when they've applied pesticides to the park. So you'll know when you should, you should uh, maybe keep your dog safe, you know, because New York has a lot of rats. And people bring a lot of food into this park. So... It can, de it can definitely get overrun by rats. So they... They gotta poison the area. <clears throat> Papaya dog is open, oh yeah? Eric, what's up? I'm, yeah, it's good, it's, it's, it's... Here in New York, good to be safe. Um, uh, you, I mean, you're safe at home, but... Can you walk to Ground Zero right now? I could, it's all open. You can walk everywhere in New York City. Nothing, no areas have been closed off and to, to say, you know, you know, you're not able to walk or, or travel. Businesses has, have been closed, but, but walking, no, no, nobody tells you you can't walk.
Kabuki says, sorry to say, ever since HW left Nin and Pats, HW, oh he, I guess that means he, he lost his way, too late for a comeback, three strikes at, and you're out, look at you, you look homeless, lost wanderer, oh well, I hope you come back. The bum park. <laughs> Kind of needs, needs to answer to this. Uh, yeah, good luck getting an answer. People say the new New Haven guy is following you. He's not, he's not. Thanks for the live stream, you're welcome. Thanks back, Matt. The Empire State Building looks, 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 yeah, it looks totally beautiful, yeah. I, and I, I, the blinking red is, is totally fitting. One World Tower is over there, yep. What do you, Stephen says, what do you propose? Oh, for, for China to do? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to get answers. They're not going to give answers because they, because they don't, because they don't have to give answers. They don't, I mean, they don't feel they don't have to give answers. Take us to ground zero. No, I, I, well, maybe another day. I'm a little too far from ground zero right now. Bob says, dude, were those face massages legit in India? Yeah, totally good stuff. Really good, good, good Indian oil face massage, head massage. Oh man, this might be uh Jeez, I, I, I keep thinking I'm gonna turn off this live, but my numbers keep growing. More and more people keep hanging out in here. 167 people, thank you. Take us to Chinatown, please. Oh, unfortunately, I, I was near Chinatown before when I was in Little Italy, but now I'm in the West Village. I'm a little far from there. I'm gonna start walking back, I think. Oh, this is News, news, news Channel 4. Wow. Look at that. There's a guy in there. And he's definitely, definitely working. Hey, what's up? Rob says, take us to Empire State Building. Should I keep walking up there? <laughs> the Lone Wonder says, false advertising. Your stream says Chinatown and Little Italy. Well, that's where I started. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's, it's, it's definitely in, in the video, but earlier on. <clears throat> All right, we're on Downing Street. The lights just turned green, cars are coming. Normally, I don't. I didn't. I wouldn't think of doing a live like this in New York City. But at this point, just a just a simple walk like this with nobody around is interesting. It's a full moon out. So for for the for the guy who thought I was, I lost my way in my channel and three strikes you're out. Um, I don't think he realizes that I'm in New York City and, then, and, then, and we got a pandemic going and a lot of things, you know, are not normal right now. So, it is what it is. I'd like to be doing what I, what I normally do, but how can I? Not able to travel, not able to go out to restaurants, eat street food, not able to do any of that stuff. But at least I can walk around and show you guys what it looks like here.
Rob, you says New York's beautiful. Hey there, Sam. KNT wing. No crack around Jason. No crack. Mask? I have I have two masks, but I'm not with anybody. I'm all by myself, so I'm getting some breathing. Breathing deep breaths. Amanda says, I'm so enthused. I've never been to New York City before. Thank you, Jason. My pleasure. You can walk around with me right now. We just walk. Steven says, show people I got a reach because I'm 6'3". Welsh says, thanks for the live stream. All right. Is there any Elvis Presley monuments in New York City? Not that I know of. We'd love to see Empire State Building up close, please. Maybe I could do that like, like uh, in the next day or two. I don't know. Comedic Truth says, Coney Island is an hour train right away. Yeah, it's not that, it's not that, it's not difficult to get to Coney Island at all. All I'd have to do is get on the subway. It's right up here. It's that same subway. Take me all the way out to the beach. Um, Fuji says, why does that mean guy keep posting all the negative talk? Uh, who is that? Which guy? Oh man, okay, I'm going down to look at your, look at your uh, comments. Larry Rupp! <laughs> come walk with New York, come walk in New York with me. Salmon says, keep Jason handsome. All right, thank you. For the love of Allah. <laughs> I like that. Happy Ramadan. No, ik mubarak. Sorry, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, screw Corona, yeah. Am I gonna walk the, the Empire State Building? Not tonight, no, it's too far. Swim across the Hudson and see what Newark is like tonight, yeah. Go vlogging and walking around Newark, yeah, great idea. Where, Scott says, where are the hookers? I don't know. I don't think they're, uh, I don't think they're, uh, they're out uh, during Corona times. Actually, actually, you, you never see any anymore. I haven't seen any hookers, street walker kind of, kind of thing since, uh, I don't know, all that was, was cracked down. Probably with, uh, with the internet. Uh, uh, with the internet, now they all just go online, I think. I don't know. But there's none of that. None of that in New York City. Are you near Madison Square Garden? Madison, yeah, uh, Madison Square Garden is, is not too far from Empire State Building. And I'm a little bit far from there right now because I just want to walk. I don't want to, I don't, I don't really want to take a subway up there right now. I could get on the bus. If a bus comes out, I, I could get on it. Hare. New York City is so different from my hometown Reykjavik. Yeah, it is. Iceland's beautiful. Might as well go to Jersey Shores. Yeah, I want to go to Jersey. Geeky says, you're a good guy, man. Very friendly. Thank you. Yes, Larry, just like being here. No weed. Yeah, nobody's, nobody tried to sell me weed today. Usually when I walk around the village, somebody's offering. Not today. Everybody, everybody, uh, represent where you're from. Tell me where you're from in the chat. So everybody in the chat can see where you're from. Everybody type in your, your, uh, your city, state, country. Can you do that? That'd be really cool if you did. Here's a flower shop. Flowers are all available for sale. You know why, right? For Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Where could I sit for a second? I've been walking nonstop for like like two hours. I'm gonna sit right in the middle of the street there, at a bench.
Oh, there's the CVS truck. Our essential deliverers of toilet paper. Sit here with the full moon. Let's sit on a, a part of the bench that isn't so wet. Because it did rain earlier. Okay guys, I'm looking at your comments again. Salmon says, Jason is roaming the night just like in Thailand. Yep. Ed, what's up in Auckland, uh, New Zealand? Fort Worth, Texas. Ontario, Canada for Braden. Mooseman in Texas. That bench has corona, be careful. <laughs> Hopefully the rain wash it away. Mark DeMello in Portugal and Boston. Connecticut. Italy, okay, cool. All right, got, wow, all right. New Jersey, Toronto, Seattle, Washington, Scranton. Everyone's representing here. Have I been to Amsterdam? Yeah, I've been there a bunch of times. I love it. Kansas. All right, Scranton. Newcastle. The Lone Wonder was born in Wellywood. Daniel Pittsburgh. G Money says, your videos are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Toronto. Rob's in Michigan. KNT. Is that a Uniqlo hoodie? Um, I got, I got, I got two on. I got two, two, uh, two jackets on. It's, it's, it's kind of cold right now, but it's not Uniqlo. I'm not a, a big Uniqlo fan. I'm more like H&M. G Money, Manhattan. Yeah, me too. Ruthie Wrangler in Minnesota. Have I have been to London? Yeah, yeah. Very only like like a night or two. I'd like to go back. I'd love to be there. Mask, no mask. William Kim. Morgan says I'm coming to New York for the New Year. I can't wait. Morgan, that is a very cold time to be in New York. Are you sure? Uh, as long as you're inside, it's it's all right in New York. It's good. You want to stay nice and warm in New Year's. While every tourist wants to be in Times Square, freeze, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's too cold and I think it's a good way to get sick. It's very, very, very cold. And you gotta wait out there for like a minimum, really minimum 12 hours. You have to be outside for 12 hours waiting for the ball to drop. Because if you leave, you can't come back because they have so much crowd control. G Money says, I'm going to Thailand for New Year's. Yeah, better idea. But I think it's just so hard to plan for flying, you know? But I have a feeling flights will all be open in December, January. We still don't know though. Just, just hard to say. Well, here's the bus, M21, cross town. I should take a city bus with you guys and show you what it looks like. Should I? No, it's too late to catch it. Probably be more interesting in the daytime. Oh, Sam says, I only started watching your videos and I'm addicted. Oh, thank you, thank you. I like that. I like that. Kabuki says, I'm at Nin. Say hi. Are you really? Hiding in. Mark DeMello, be careful you don't get mugged or killed by my, my brother. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm in a pretty, I'm not in a very dangerous area. I'm okay. And plus I'm right in the middle of the street. On like, uh, at, at the, where there's a bench. This is a pretty safe place. John Medeiros, all right, the genius musician. I love your songs. What's the worst part What's the worst part or borough of New York? All, all of the five boroughs have very nice areas. And also, also some more dangerous areas. I think, well, pretty much everybody would, would say that the Bronx 
would be the more questionable, you know, <laughs> burrow to be randomly walking around in. G-Money says, you look like Ray Romano. Yeah, people tell me that. Comedic Truth says, the worst part of New York are the boardrooms on Wall Street. That's where the real hard criminals are. <laughs> That's funny. Let me tell you, what one time, I actually took a stand-up comedy class. And at the end of those classes, we got to do our, do our routine on stage, you know, with, with a real live audience. And then after that, they had the, uh, and it was, a, it was a total off night, but they had the, the, the regular, you know, stand-up comedians that make their rounds and stuff. Not, not known or anything, and, and just, just, just basic, you know, the, the stand-up comedians, you know. And I, I did all right, I did, I did my five minutes on, on stage. And after that, we all got to stay and, and listen to the, to, the, to the more professional comedians, but they weren't known at all. And one of the comedians was Ray Romano. This was before he got his show. I remember his stand-up show was, was already all about his family, like about the kids, the wife. It was about family life. And so, and it was like a couple years, a few, two, three, four years after that, all of a sudden he had his own show, maybe, maybe two, three years later. And he got discovered from that, from that stand-up act is what is what i i think because basically his stand-up act is just like what the show is i mean uh family experiences and joking about the kids and yeah so he got totally discovered just doing stand-up so you never know so yeah if you're doing stand-up you could totally make it you never know who's watching somebody must have just been saw his act liked him and Signed him for a show. Rob D says, I said it the first time, he looks like Romano two times, but he read yours. <laughs> okay, you, you guys both think I look like Ray Romano. Who, who's see, Hussein says, too much drugs in your eyes. No, no drugs in my eyes. White Buffalo says, any massage videos coming? Soon it helps my anxiety and it helps me sleep. Yes, I got a lot of good stuff coming. I have a lot of videos that I'm still uh, releasing. A lot of good videos coming. White Buffalo says any massage videos. Oh, you, you, you guys really want more videos. Okay, more massage videos. Mr. Iceland says he looks like PewDiePie. I look like PewDiePie? Whoa, G Money, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is G Money right there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. Find a ladyboy. I'll, I'll be looking all night for a ladyboy if I'm looking for a ladyboy. I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think we're finding any here. <laughs> Rudolph says, "I want more lives, Jason." Really? Okay. I, I'll try to. I gotta just turn it on, and then all of a sudden I get in the mood. Cause uh, if I'm not doing the live. And I guess sometimes I feel like, you know, I don't know. But once I once I turn it on, then I, then I feel good. And I, and I love chatting with you guys, because you guys are so enthusiastic in the comment section. Neville says, he looks like Jason Rupp, but homeless. Yeah, I know, I accept that, I accept that. But I'm gonna save it up. I might be, I might be getting a new style this weekend, because I'm, I'm in talks with a barber and we might be doing something. I don't know what yet. You know, all these city buses are going around. Empty. Oh, there's another bus passing by. Empty, see, look. And all the buses are free now. Because they don't want anybody going anywhere near the bus driver. We don't want to make, nobody wants the bus driver to get sick. Hussein says, how is New York City during the crisis? Are there any people people outside? Almost nobody. Oh, Dan, please, beer on the way. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. You are the best. Damn, the best. Matt says, grow the beard till the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I could do a whole ZZ Top, you know, like, Corona beard. Mark says, do more lives and take me with you. Take us, yeah, I'll, I'll take you guys along. You are Spider-Man. <laughs> Where in New York City are you now? Right now I'm on Houston and 6th Avenue in downtown Manhattan. Yeah, Rudolph, yeah, free buses, it's pretty cool. I really, do you guys think it's a good idea to do a bus ride live with you guys? I'm not quite so sure it's a good time to do it now. Because I mean, there's not much to see outside, except just nothing, except nothing going on, that's all. But I, I think it'd be a good idea in the daytime. Oh, you guys think it's a good idea to do now? Oh, man. I'm a crack snorter. He says, so you're here? I'm going to pull up on you. Okay, come on over. Hey Jason, why, why are you back in the States? Um, well, cause I come to this, cause I'm in the States all, a, a lot, and, but I'm also like to travel a lot. And uh, well, I was in Italy with my mom. Italy was on lockdown, all of a sudden lockdown. We didn't expect that. Now you guys think, oh, you should have known, but it was only the, the north, north, north of Italy that was locked down. Rome wasn't locked down. Anywhere south of Rome was not on lockdown. And I, and I went to an island in the south, in the south called Sicily. They were not on lockdown when I went. But then all of a sudden, that same day in the evening is when they announced the lockdown. Really bad, bad, bad time to go. So, time to come back to, to US. That was, that, that's why. Well, look at this guy. Pizza and beer. You got some? Bring it over. Okay, the question likes to come up all the time. Have you slept with Nin? No. She's my barber. Hussein says, I'm from Sweden. And you guys have a good life there overseas. And you seem to be very kind and respectful, man. I wish you the best in this bad situation. You too. You too in Sweden. Take care. Oh, oh Thor says... Call me Thor. I know my name was a nightmare, but actually your pronunciation was close last time. Okay, let me try. Thor Bjorn. Sigurdsson. I'm probably very wrong. I'm right here at the red light, see? I can see people. No mask. <laughs> no mask. No mask. Safia, do you live in the city? Uh, yep. Yes. It's, is it cold in the city? Yes, it's cold now. The night. <laughs> no mask. Mask, no mask, no mask, no mask. No mask. Should I call him out? <laughs> I'll point to him, no mask. He'll point to me, no mask. Rob is in love with Nucci. Hmm. Alvin, keep the beard. I think I'll keep, well, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in, until I got a good video idea. Man, I need a hot coffee. 
I was actually thinking I would get a hot coffee while I'm walking around and that would have been just perfect but I didn't and there was little to no place to do it Ferraris might have made me a coffee I'm not sure look here's a girl she's got it she's got her, her mask on her chin see She actually put her hand up. All right, we won't we won't put her on camera. Go home and make some coffee. I, I'm gonna have to. You look tired. I yeah. Well, you know. I needed some exercise though, badly. Hussein says, "Man, listen. Are you in need for some money? If you are, I can help you. If anybody wants to help out." Let me know. A I wonder. Great content. Thank you. Thor Bjorn. Oh, okay. Thank, thanks for explaining the pronunciation. Play mask, no mask from the bushes. <laughs> no. Not, no, no, no. Jimmy says take an Uber home. No, I, I, I can walk. But, oh, but my battery is dying. 15, uh, 15, only 15% 15 left. Rudolph says, donate happily to Jason Rupp. Yes, please. Well, no, no, if, only, if, only if you want to. I'm not, I'm not saying, telling anybody to donate. Matt Spence, good idea. Carmi, Jason. Will you come to Northern Ireland? Oh, man, I would love to come to Northern Ireland. It must be amazing up there, so beautiful. And I, I'd love to do some, do some, some pub visits and all that stuff. Come to Portugal, yeah. I want to come to. I want to go to Porto and Lisbon and everywhere in between. I've always wanted to go there, and I just know the food is so good, and I, and I know it's affordable for my budget. Cause, uh, cause uh, Northern European countries are a little over my budget. My budget. Southern European, yeah. That's that's that works out. <laughs> oh, cool dude, Dave. Jason, when will you use the toilet? As soon as you get here. Man, Dave, you abandoned New York City. Come on. You gotta come back here. Living it up in Beverly Hills. We're 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 over we're out here suffering in New York City. The Lone Wonder says, Rob D, you confront Jason. And then give him the bill for the child support and ask for a DNA test. All right. It's like a Jerry Springer show. Thor says, my last donation was shown in euros, even though it's in Iceland kroners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for the last donation. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, brother. I want to come to Iceland. Do you have a sofa for me in Iceland? I promise I will fold up my, my, my blanket and and my sheet and and I'll 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 put it in the closet and I will be out all day. <laughs> and I will make coffee. Brucey e. Pop says hello to the man with the nice haircut. Man, it's not me, unfortunately. It's not me. But thank you. Hi hi back to you. How did it feel to get the neck massage? Felt really good. Really good. I, I love the neck and shoulder massage for sure. Oh. Oh, Dave, sorry. I see your message. Oh man, cool dude Dave. Come to Bosnia. It's a country of heroes. Oh, I'd love to go over there. It'd be amazing. Rob says, Nucci's your slice. Yeah, Nucci's my slice of pizza. I'm inhaling and exhaling. Yeah, because uh, when I get back, you don't get the fresh air, you know. It's, it's, I, 
I need to go out more. Kayla says, hi Jason, hey. Bosnia, love to Bosnia. Shadow Wolf plays, yeah. Noel says, love your channel. Nucci's the superstar. Oh, you were, you were born in Portugal, John? So, so guys, I'm sorry if I don't catch all of your, your, your comments. Please, forgive me. Um, don't get upset. Time for you to go to bed, Jason. Yeah, let me see what time it is. 10.53 here in New York City. You know, 10.53 p.m. in New York City is not late. But it is now. It definitely feels late now. Right now, it feels 10.53 p.m. Sitting outside here feels like 3 a.m. Matias says, hi from Brazil. Good night. Hey, good night in Brazil. Take care down there. The Lone Wanderer. Shadow says it's 9.53. Morgan says it's 3.52. What's your favorite country? 3.52 must be in Europe, I guess. Oh, and in England too. What's your favorite country? I don't know. It's hard to say. I just, I, I think it's pretty obvious that I really enjoy all of Asia. That said, I also really enjoy Europe. I've been to South America a little bit. I really enjoy South America. God, I, I love the tapas in, in Spain. I love the, the food in Turkey. Czech Republic, you got the beer, the birchok. I, I, I love it all. Have you visited Puerto Rico? No, but that was the plan. I was going to be there this month, but that that was canceled. But I hope to go next next year. Do you know Harold Balder? No, we've never talked. Have you visited Puerto Rico? My mom has, but not me. Not me. says you make me want to travel so bad man I hear you girl I hear you girl I want to travel too but we can't do that who's your favorite youtuber um indigo traveler Jesse St. Louis is a personal friend. Um, I've been watching uh, actually a lot of channels, a lot of channels. I've been watching this uh, this alternative kind of uh, information source called Valuetainment. I think that's a really valuable YouTube channel. I, I recommend you guys see it. It's it's just how you you think it would be spelled. Value. It's really good stuff. Really good information, interviews. Um, well, Thor says, when you want to come to Iceland, don't stay long. Stay for maximum two days. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get home too poor. The prices have increased due to Corona. You'll spend a lot of money here. Oh, man. Jeez. It'll have to be two days then, yeah. I hear you. Oh, beauty and the east. Traveling is the best. I'm in Southeast Asia, currently stuck in Thailand. I wish I was stuck in Thailand right now. Luchi's in Thailand. Zeke says, you look great, man. Need an ASMR video. Yes, I do need one. I got some ideas, they're coming. But like a lot of us, you know, we're, we're, uh, we've slowed down. But, but I got a lot of good, a lot of videos coming out. A lot coming out. Especially uh, some street massage videos that, that I videoed before I got, and, I, and I'm going to release. Uh, street massages, I got, a, I got a street skin scraping massage coming out. I got the leech therapy video. I got the $700 street barber video coming. I got a chest shave video from Nin coming out. I have a beard shave video from Nin coming out. 
a lot of interesting, unique experiences coming out. So, you haven't heard the last from me. I got lots of good stuff coming out. Do you have a manager? No. I have nobody to help me. Nobody to help me do it. I probably would get more videos out if I did have. Do I play any video games? No, I used to play video games though, but not, not anymore. Jay gets some balls massaging. Um, well, I don't think I could video that, but... <laughs> But I'd like to do some some videos like uh, there's a there's a hammer massage, hammer time massage where they they hammer your body and stuff. There's a knife massage. I'd like to do that one. There's a whole lot more things I can do. Lone Wonder wants to volunteer as my manager. I do need a good one though. I probably could benefit from one. Oh, so so cool hanging out with you guys. I'm gonna have to cut this off in just a little bit because guess what? I didn't bring my my battery pack, so I can't do it too long. Oh, there's another 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 bus going by. Thanks, thanks you all for coming in and and, and hanging out with me. I want to wish you peace, love, health, and happiness. Remember the love. My, it's my tagline, right? Uh, which country, which country's barber do you like the most? Oh man, Hussein! Man, go buy yourself a sandwich and a coke from me. I, I watched you. I watched you just a few minutes, and now I feel empathy. I hope you enjoy the meal. Good evening. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, brother. That was really cool. Really cool. It's really cool to all of you. There was three of you who, who sent a donation. That was really kind. But, it, but it's just as kind that all of you are in here hanging out with me. Thank you, everybody, for being in here. Chatting with me. I love to see your comments. Brucey says, look out for each other. Rudolph, good night. Beauty in the East. Having a good time in Thailand. Good. Stay safe. Oh, Minong, what's up? Keep Jason handsome. Keep Jason making videos. It's not easy. We try, you know. It's not always easy. Wendy. Love to New Zealand. From uh, Princess. Knife massage in Taiwan. Yeah. All right, guys. In case there's one more uh, coffee coming my way. <laughs> that was really cool. That's, that was really cool. I just come on to say hi to you guys. And... I'm really thankful for all the love, the amazing comments, really cool. Well, I'm just watching them all, it's pretty amazing. Thank you for being so cool with me. I just started making videos and all of a sudden, it seems like I have friends all over the world. So that's really something to be thankful for. And I'm very, very thankful. Very, very, very thankful because I've never Never uh, had such a. Never had so many friends. I'm right here at the intersection. See, this, the cars keep stopping here. Oh, I think that guy's looking over. No, he's not. Oh, uh, Thor is not in Iceland. You're amazing, Katie. Thank you. Bob says you should visit India. Nathan, Nathan what's up? The beard. I just met your friend from, from New Haven before. Michigan. The beard's getting longer, yeah. Keeping the face warm. Jason, where do you think you'll go after the haircut? Oh, uh, where, do we where, do we where do you think you'll go for your first haircut after the virus? I don't know, but I'm planning something special. You know, I'm thinking of getting a barber outside. We're gonna go outside and do something. That, that's my, that's my, my thoughts. And thanks, John. You gave me an amazing song. So thankful. Thanks, Lone, for being my manager. Without this disclosing an actual amount. Oh, well, 
you know, they, they, these videos don't don't really make enough for me to pay for all the travel, but it helps. I mean, these ads, they make like micro pennies, you know, so. And you know what would help? There's 150 people in here. It would help if, uh, if when you go out, just, just turn on your YouTube, turn on your playlist, a Jason Rupp playlist. I just, I worked really hard for the last uh, three nights, putting all my videos in playlists. And so now when you click onto the Jason Rupp channel, and you, and you click on playlist, then you can see different playlists of my videos. So that'd be really cool if you, if you, if, if you wanna you know, do a little extra support. When you go out, just, just leave that laptop running, you know? Just, just keep, the, keep the videos going, you know? Run a whole playlist. <laughs> anyway, I don't, I don't expect people to really do that, but if somebody was that hardcore to help me, then, then that's very welcoming. Rob D feels betrayed. Okay, you could be my manager too. Oh, G Money says I got you. Will do? Really? You, okay, thank you. That is so cool. If you just leave a plan, a lot, lot of, lot of, lot of, a uh, lot of people have a, have a, have a YouTube on the TV. Just load up the Jason Rupp channel, choose a playlist, let it run. <laughs> let it run. Oh, thank, thanks you guys. Arc boy, Joshua, what's up? Josh, you came in. Oh, oh loan is loan wants to be manager only. <laughs> Shadow says, oh, I gotta go. Night everyone and stay safe. I'm subscribing right now. Whoa, thank you. Thank you, Shadow. Oh, 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 this is, this is a nice comment. I'm glad I didn't leave yet. Kayla says, I'm, I actually run your videos while I'm working from home. They make me feel calmer. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you. That's really cool. Well, uh, luckily now I put them in playlists, so it'll make it a little bit easier. I put all of 2019 and 2020 in playlists. So you can choose female barbers, you can choose street barbers, you can choose nin barber, you can choose Thailand, you can choose Indonesia, I got Indonesia 2019, Indonesia 2020, you know, and so on. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it says I'm reaching the, I'm, I'm I've reached 80% of my monthly data. Uh oh, uh oh. Robbie says, have a good night, Ray Romano. All right, <laughs> all right, you too. Minox says, J Jason Rupp playlist and valuetainment, yes. I like valuetainment. Always good stuff. You don't have to like identify with their with whatever the whatever's in valuetainment, but just it's just always good information. Just soak it in, and maybe it maybe it maybe you agree with it or maybe not. Application available. Hiring new manager. How warm is it? It's not warm here. It's probably like 50 right now. So. Could even be 45 degrees right now. Have you ever been to Katzisdale? Yeah, it's really good. Really good stuff. Okay, guys, uh, forgive me, I'm gonna cut it off. Oh, oh Joshua's here to t tell you all about Ty Lopez. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye guys, love you all. See you, thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had fun tonight. Two hours, we had fun. <laughs>